Obviously, was one who blazed the trails a while ago and he recently made his way back from a serious injury and we're glad to see him back and of course I'm talking about Hello everyone and welcome to today's episode of The Corner Flag. You are here with your favorite host, The Shane, and you are here at Eyes Low Studios, of course. And as you can see by the title, we are of course carrying on and talking about athletics once again today. So seeing as we're on our road to the 2024 Paris Olympics, we're going to be looking at the five fastest athletes from Africa that we should be looking out for and who will be looking to make a statement for themselves. Um, so we're definitely going to go ahead and get started with number five, of course. It's in no particular order, but uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and start with number five. And that is, of course, Liti Letawoho from Botswana. So he's the under 20 champion and he's just been making waves everywhere 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 our boy is so talented man really really fast has been compared to usain bolt and he has spoken himself that he is one of the guys that he looks up to so he is a little bit raw in terms of you know his technique but his raw um talent as well is kind of what gets him through so it's kind of you know it's one of those who is going to be making a very very important mark in this paris uh, olympics so i think we're all going to be looking at what the 20 year old from botswana has to bring and we are very very proud of him he has been of course blazing the trails and yeah man even Kyrie, he, he was just narrowly beaten by Kyrie, but he did look like he wasn't taken that seriously you know so i think those are one of the things that he's going to be sort of making up for um in the coming race as well Okay, so we're going to be looking at athlete number four and athlete number four of course is our athlete from kenya who's built like a tank and of course i'm talking about ferdinand omanyala and omanyala of course is a veteran in the game has been running for ages you know african champion as well one of those that um has been on the scene for quite a long time excuse me <laughs> um but we're really looking forward to what he has to offer. Unfortunately, in the World Athletics, he and his team, unfortunately, not really missed out on a place in um, the, 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 the relay. So we'll have to see what happens on that end. But Ferdinand Omanyala, of course, definitely one of those African sprinters who's a, who has been making his mark for a very long time. And uh, we're going to go ahead and look at our number three uh, runner. And our number three runner, of course, in this category is uh, Benjamin Azamati from Ghana, right? Benjamin also, fantastic runner, has always been consistent also, always in the mix of things also, right? So I think he's always one of those um, who's always been making a mark and uh, he also made a big, big statement as well. Um, in the world athletics he and his team of course winning the relay um you know and nigeria of course coming in second place um in that competition as well so it was an african sweep all around at world athletics and it was absolutely wonderful to see and definitely uh benjamin is one of those athletes we will be looking forward to seeing in this competition and i'm uh, going to go in to look at number four and our number four athlete in this category is somebody who's making his um way back onto the seat definitely was one who blazed the trails a while ago and he recently made his way back from a serious injury and we're glad to see him back and of course i'm talking about wade funny kirk and yeah man one of those diverse athletes who can run 100 meters 200 meters 400 meters as well and yeah it's just unfortunate to see um you know how far back the, the, the injury has set him back but he did make his way back we saw him at world athletics as well helped the um the 400 meter team win as well and we will be seeing them at the olympics as well so it's great to see him and hopefully you know you'll make a statement we'll make a statement coming back to show exactly who he is and we are absolutely uh, excited to see that and uh, our number one athlete of course that we will be talking about in this category and we're talking about akani simbini and Akani is also one of those, Mr. Consistent also, has been, you know, in the starting blocks against the best of them, has been, ran against Usain Bolt, ran against Gay, ran against Blake, ran against, yeah, name it, he ran against them. And he also beat the best of them as well. So he's definitely one of those, um, you know, beat the cross as well, you know, so he's one of those, man. I think, you know, the guys on the international scene, they definitely know who, the, who this dude is. He beat Noah Lyles as well. So he's definitely one of those who rivals um, the best in the world not just even on the continent definitely in the world and he's one of those that i feel like 
the great thing about Agani is he can keep getting faster. There's like certain athletes, they get off the starting blocks, right? And then they get into a rhythm, they run, and then it's like they reach like top speed. And where they are, it's kind of like where they're gonna be basically they can't go any faster but Agani has the ability to go faster throughout the race so it's really a great uh, quality that he has and of course has also helped uh, South Africa qualify for um, you know the 2024 Olympics in the relay it was absolutely magnificent to see um, you know the race that uh, South Africa ran in, 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 in uh, <laughs> uh, that heat as well so it was fantastic to see and Agani also world champion we're, we're excited to see what he has to bring to the table and yeah, that rounds up our list of our athletes that we will be looking forward to seeing in the 2024 Paris Olympics. If there are any athletes that you feel like I missed and you'd like to mention, please definitely mention them in the comments, right? I'd like to hear about those from you and any athletes that you're looking forward to seeing and any ones that you feel like could provide some great rivalries in the next uh, uh, Paris, uh, well, the Paris Olympics, of course. Uh, please don't forget, of course, to like share and subscribe and we are of course on our road to 500 we are almost there guys so let's keep on pushing let's keep on pushing i will of course see you again in the next episode of the corner flag